Most travelers, even if you're very experienced, have never heard of the town of Gubbio in Umbria in Italy. Well, we are going to take you there. We were lucky to meet Isabella, who is not a professional tour guide. She's a sommelier, but she's born and raised in Gubbio and very knowledgeable and enthusiastic about her hometown. She's going to take us on a walking tour. We're visiting Gubbio, which is one of the great medieval stone towns of Italy. We're in Umbria, and uh, we're fortunate to be walking with, with Isabella, who's going to take <laughs> us around and show us all these great sights of this amazing town of Gubbio. It's about a thousand years old, but it has origins that go back 3,000 years. It's really got a lot of history. I am Isabella, I live in Gubbio, I am born in Gubbio, and uh, Gubbio is uh, my town, it's very, very beautiful. You come with me for uh, one walk to Gubbio, it's okay? <laughs> Behind me, the Palazzo dei Consoli. Uh -huh. The palace up on the hill, the Palazzo dei Consoli, was the seat of power hundreds of years ago, and we'll take you in there later. It's a great museum with arts and sculptures and artifacts from the Middle Ages. But for now, we're taking you on our walking tour into a very old part of Gubbio, the district of San Martino. We cross the little stream that runs through town into San Martino, which is a very pleasant neighborhood with winding lanes and little cafes and neighborhood shops and very old buildings. This river is uh, Camignano, and uh, in uh, springtime uh, the children uh, play to football because uh, in the springtime no water. This is uh, Piazza Giordano Bruno. Um, a main piazza in San Martino? The main Piazza San Martino. Okay. Okay. The piazza is named after Giordano Bruno, who was a Dominican friar and there's the Church of San Domenico right on the piazza, so there's a connection between those two. Interesting to notice the two layers of church facade. You have the original stone front, and then we have a later facade that was added and partly broke off. Giordano Bruno was a great intellect back in the late 1500s, and unfortunately, he was burned at the stake for his beliefs that there were many universes and that the earth rotated around the sun. Bruno believed that stars had planets around them just like our solar system. Heretical beliefs for the Catholic Church. This is uh, the door of the dead. This door of the dead is a curious feature unique to Gubbio. Gubbio is quite proud of these doors of the dead which are found in many of the old buildings and yet Nobody is quite sure what they were used for. Is that door of the dead? Also. Also. This is uh, the door of the day. Uh huh. Wow. One belief is the door was used for removing people who died inside the building. Another belief is that it was a, a door that the owner could use for more security. There's a curious round stone section of paving in the street that is believed to be an artifact left over from the earliest days of Gubbio, from the time of the Umbri, the earliest settlers over 2,000 years ago, and yet its function is unknown. And uh, this is the palace of uh, Capitano del Popolo. Capitano del Popolo means captain of the people which was a very important person in Italy back in the Middle Ages. He was like the mayor of the city, and he was a countervailing power to the nobles. So the captain of the people was the representative of the wealthy merchant class that was growing in power and rivaling that of the nobility. The popolo had their own army and councils and legal system, and played a very important role in the political life of Italian cities in the Middle Ages. This old neighborhood has a fine example of a medieval tower. These were like skyscrapers in the Middle Ages. They were for protecting 
the household in case of a tech. Just wandering through these pleasant lanes in the small district of San Martino was one of my favorite parts of the entire visit to Gubbio. It's always important to visit the museums and monuments and go in the important churches, have some great meals, do a little shopping. But really, one of the most rewarding activities you can ever do when you're traveling is just simply walking through the local neighborhoods. Being observant, taking a look at what's going on. Look at the buildings, the stones, the pavement, the people, the dogs going by, the shops. Just walk and listen and look. It's a very rewarding experience. This is uh, the Borgo of Santa Lucia. And uh, there is uh, another game. This arch of uh, Santa Croce. Santa Croce. Santa Croce. Hmm. And now we're in the Borgo of Santa Lucia, which is part of the old town, even though it's outside the main wall. And yet there's another wall and another gate that help to enclose this little district of Santa Lucia. And this is the theater. The music, ballet, and theater. The municipal theater, Teatro Comunale, was inaugurated first in 1738. And then in 1846, it was renovated and rebuilt and enlarged in a more refined style. And today, it's a very active theater presenting various kinds of programs, mostly plays as well as concerts and ballets and recitals and lectures and various community gatherings. We'll continue our walking tour of Gubbio with Isabella in part two.